Hey guys, Guide and Wheelchair here, and I'd like to welcome each one of you individually to Deception of Religion number 23. Thanks for stopping in. And I'd just like to start us off today by saying, God is good at making good people act like complete assholes. Now, we've all heard Christians try to discredit evolution with lame arguments, which I myself have even refuted quite a few times on my own channel, and I encourage you to check out those videos. But, in a Christian's mind, what would it mean if the theory of evolution was proven true definitively? Well, that's what we're going to find out today, because this guy walks us through exactly what he thinks would happen or what the negative effects on society would be if evolution was definitively proven true. What do you have for us? If evolution is true. Evolution says everything is a result of some cosmic accident billions of years ago. No, no, no. Evolution does not say we came from anywhere. Evolution does not address the beginning of life. It does not address where we came from. Get this through your heads, Christians. Evolution does not address the beginning of life or the origin in any way. Evolution simply addresses the diversity of life. How we go from single-celled organisms to all the different species of plants and animals we see on Earth today. If evolution is true, how do you tell right from wrong? How do we tell right from wrong? Yet another stupid question when it comes to the topic of evolution. Evolution only addresses the diversity of life on Earth. But we all know that he meant, how do we tell right from wrong without God, so I'll address it that way. It is the goal of every living thing on Earth, ultimately, to pass on our genetic information. And we have found out, whether through learned behavior or, or instincts, I'm not sure, that killing, stealing, etc. is detrimental to the ultimate goal of passing that genetic information on. By not doing these things, we greatly increase our chances of propagating and passing on our genetic information. That's how we know. If evolution is true, why do we have a conscience? The word conscience comes from two words. Con meaning with and science meaning knowledge. When we do wrong, our conscience convicts us. Is it reasonable to believe that our conscience evolved or that it was given to us by our Creator? It is absolutely absurd for anyone to believe that your God gave us a conscience or a sense of morality because your God has no conscience and follows no sort of morality. All throughout the Bible he says, here's the rules, here's how you live at all times, now here's the exception to the rule. That I shall not murder unless I command you to murder. That I shall not steal unless I command you to steal. Be good to your children unless I ask you to sacrifice one of them to me. God could not have possibly given us those things because God has no sense of those things. That's like me giving people advice on how to walk. The Bible says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Besides our conscience, God has given us another way to tell right from wrong. The Ten Commandments. Oh yeah, the Ten Commandments. That's a great place to get your basis for morality. Those rules that include a bunch of, I shall not worship any other god but me, but don't include things like, I shall not molest children. When it comes to morality, the Ten Commandments get two fucking thumbs up. Great argument. Let's look at a few of them more closely. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Have you ever used God's name as a swear word? What kind of goddamn question is that? No, of course I've never used God's goddamn name as a goddamn swear word. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, what kind of heathen do you think I am? Thou shalt not steal. Have you ever stolen anything regardless of the value? Thou shalt not bear false witness. 
Have you ever lied? If you answered yes to these questions, you are a blasphemer, a thief, and a liar. So I'm a blasphemer, a thief, and a liar. Well, that's it. You've converted me. I think everyone should adopt the obviously non-judgmental and unconditional love of the good Christian people. And that's only three of the Ten Commandments. The Bible is true about the beginning. You better believe it is true about the end. Well, what an incredibly stupid thing to say. How can you sit there and say, the Bible's true about the beginning, when you've done nothing at all to demonstrate that? No one is buying your, the Bible's true because the Bible says it is. Okay, if you want anyone to believe that the Bible is true, you have to provide empirical evidence for that claim. If you can't do that, then you're just another dumbass on the internet wasting everyone's time. The Bible says, and as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this the judgment. Listen to your conscience. You have broken God's laws. Really? Is that what your conscience is telling you? Huh. Because my conscience is telling me, stop watching this video. It's a waste of your time, and you could be doing something more productive with your time, like watching paint dry. You will stand before God on Judgment Day. Oh, no, no. See, that one doesn't apply to me because I don't stand. So, I won't be standing before God or anyone else on any day. But thanks for the heads up. Will you be innocent or guilty? Will you go to heaven or hell? The Bible says, As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Again, none of that matters because I can't stand. You know you will be guilty and end up in hell. That's not God's will. Don't sit there and tell me that it's not God's will for all of us to go to hell. Because if it wasn't God's will, He wouldn't have created us with original sin. That's a choice that He made. He is the one deeming us sinners and unfit to go to heaven. So don't tell me it's not His will. Two thousand years ago, Jesus Christ took your punishment when He shed His blood and died on the cross. Yep, Jesus died on the cross. Human sacrifice. Just another great example of that good Christian love. Three days later, he defeated death when he rose again. Don't trust your eternal soul to blind chance. Repent and trust in the only hope of eternal salvation, Jesus Christ. Yeah, don't trust your eternal soul to blind chance. Trust it to the person that already damned you to hell in the first place. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Every second two people die. What if this is your second? Well, if this is my second, then I'd like to use my last breath to say that you're a moron. Call upon Jesus Christ today. You may not have tomorrow. The ultimate statistic, 10 out of 10 people die. Yeah, and 10 out of 10 people also take a shit, what's your point? Okay, well I officially feel lied to. This video was supposed to be the negative effects of evolution on humanity, but instead it seems like it ended up being more of a, it's better to believe in God because we're all going to die someday and you would hate to be wrong. I'm going to tell you what's wrong with that yet again, and all Christians please listen up. If you believe in God, simply because you're afraid of the consequences, if you don't, that is not a good reason to believe in anything. That is not a true conviction. And if I was a god, I wouldn't accept you into heaven anyway because why would I want someone who only pretended to believe in me? 
if you make a video trying to convince people of Christianity simply by asking them to pretend your whole video is a waste of time, your belief is false, and your premise is just plain wrong.